RS Shipyard and we are with general manager of RS Shipyard, Utko Alanch. And uh, there are many improvements at the shipyard. They just started trials with the Turkish Coast Guard with 35 fast petrol boats. Could you tell us a little bit about your boat? Uh, why does it have this nose shape? What do you do? Where are the tests? What is going on? Thank you very much, Mr. Ekşi. Welcome aboard again. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I'd like to state that you know it's been a long while uh, since we, we could not attend an exhibition. And then, as we can see, it's, it's uh, literally crowded. So it's a, it's a very good opportunity for Istanbul and for Turkey and for us, of course, for our defense industry. So in this exhibition, of course, uh, RS-35 FBB is, is one of our uh, most popular products which we are building for Turkish Coast Guard. And uh, the number is interesting for, for most of the foreign uh, delegations. Uh, it's a huge serial production. We started with 105 boats. Now it's uh, officially 122. But uh, for some more boats, I mean, quite a number of more boats are coming for uh, Turkish Marine Police as well. And, and uh, so we're expecting around 200. Yes. Will you, will you, will you increase your uh, production rate in this case? No, we, I mean, our setup is already more than enough. Uh, the capacity is more than enough for building these vessels and our serial production capability is, is, is quite uh, developed, advanced for this uh, kind, of, uh, kind of vessel productions. That's why we, we, we managed to, uh, to get this tender. Uh, I mean, if, 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 if it's right to say easily, because of our capacity and serial production capability. Now, uh, the first boat is, is launched, as you stated, and uh, we've, we've completed the trial periods. And in this boat, as you mentioned, you, you can see that the, the, the design is unique. I mean, it looks like, yes, it's a 12 meter boat. It may look like a simple boat, but it's not because uh, first of all, the structural design is unique. And we have, uh, we have conducted first of its kind tests, trials on this boat, which is usually done on Solas boats, smaller boats, not on these types of fast petrol boats, like, uh, like, like launching, I mean, beaching tests to the rocks, to the beach, and hitting to the wall, uh, some, some tough tests with no even minor defects uh, or damages on the boat. And after these tests, we conducted you know, uh, long sea trials and we had no even minor issues on the boat structure. Thanks to its, uh, its fender design and structural design underneath. So you got tested uh, the the boat at the Mediterranean Sea, at the Aegean Sea, and the Black Sea, even maybe Marmara Sea. Yes, yes, right. Uh, we have an operational test period now. After these tough tests of structures, uh, we have now operational tests. We started in the Mediterranean, and we will go up to the Aegean, North Aegean, Marmara, as you stated, mm -hmm. and we will end up uh, in the Black Sea. Could you tell us a little bit about the infrastructure of the boat, whether it can be uh, in the in the future it can be have some modifications for uh, fitting remote controlling systems? Mm. Okay, I, I know where you're trying to come, but um, no, of course it is possible. I mean, after Ulak, uh, we can we can convert thanks to Metexan Defense, our partners, uh, we can convert any type of boat in any length to a remote control um, naval system, naval platform. Yes, it is possible, but for this platform, of course, uh, it's the end user's decision. There is, uh, there is no such plan at the moment. You just mentioned how you uh, gain the tender. You said how uh, your uh, production capacity. What is your production capacity? What is the rate? Uh, for this length, I, I'd like to go with, with an example here. Uh, for this boat, what we proposed to Turkish Coast Guard and SSP 
was uh, six boats every two months. So uh, it means like, of course, it's, it, it doesn't go like, you know, uh, proportionally, but to, to make it simple, it means three boats every month and it's like uh, one boat every 10 days. So, of course, we are going in parallels and we have three molds and um, in the, during the outfitting phase, we work in stations. So it's like an um, automotive production, like automotive industry. Yeah. Yeah. As far as I know, you you uh, you will provide 13 boats in this year. Yes. Yes. Uh, it maybe we may have one more batch. Due to COVID, we had some delays. You know, in in so like like in every industry. Normal. Yeah some administrative delays. Um, normally, to this year's plan was uh, to deliver 19 boats. So I think we may still achieve this. You still may? Yeah. Right. Uh, when you, you talked about, the, uh, you mentioned about the test that you, you did. When you are, when the boat is going with the full speed and you have to stop immediately, one immediate emergency stop. What is the time you need? What is the distance that the, the, the boat will uh, go in this time? Did you test it? Yes, we did crash stop tests. We did all the maneuverability tests. So we, we have noted down all you know, turning diameters, circles, uh, crash stop distances, maximum speed, uh, accelerations. Of course, th those are you know, we have uh, too many detailed values, sure. parameters in this, but uh, in, in brief, uh, the most inevitable requirement in the specifications is the maximum speed, which is defined as 35 knots, and we achieved 38 knots at full load, which is, which is quite, quite, you know, uh, more than satisfactory. And, and um, in terms of the maneuverability parameters, like, like the ones you stated, uh, we fulfilled all the requirements. But you can it's you have to keep it confidential. I, I think. think so because the uh, the requirements, the tender is is confidential. Right. Okay. Uh, you just mentioned the unique feature, the, the, the design. What are the what are the advantages of this unique design? Because it is not something cheap to have a unique design. So why did you do that? First of all structural strength. That's the most important part because these boats uh, will be operated in shallow waters 24-7 and they will not have fixed crew on board. So the basis is 24-7. So the boat has, has to be, they, they, they must be reliable. So every system is redundant here. I mean in propulsion system, in the auxiliary systems, electronic systems. We have redundancy. We have a backup to to keep on, you know, operating 24/7. Structural strength, as we stated during the trials. So these are the most critical design parameters uh, we we have taken into account. This is why we have this this design. Yes. Yes. All right. When we come to the IDEF that we are right now. Um, what you were expecting, what did you find, how do you evaluate the expo? Uh, my personal opinion, I, I was not expecting this, 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 you know, this crowd, uh, especially foreign delegations. Uh, normally the first days are VIP, as, you, as you're more than experienced, you know, more experienced than me. Uh, even the first day and the first minutes in the morning, we had delegations and they were, you know, quite excited and eager to know uh, about the vessels, about the unmanned systems. So I, I can, I can, you know, clearly say, frankly say that this is this is uh, more than we expected. That's 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 for sure. Uh, what we were expecting is is to, of course, you know, this is this is a this is a platform where we're promoting our products and uh, tell us, you know, tell them about ourselves. Uh, we were, you know, we had some some products like Ulak, the unmanned, uh, unmanned family, uh, like the 35 FBB, as you asked, and the 85 Hercules. Uh, yeah, it's in here in the video. Um, 
those three were the you know most priority products we were trying to promote. But what we what we have seen until now is 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 some we are experiencing diversity from the delegations. Even even some uh, even some paramilitary craft like firefighting vessels. Mm. We had some inquiries. Uh, of course, fat, fat, fast patrol boats, OPVs. Mm. So um, it's 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 really a good show. It was it is more than what you were expecting. I yes, thought. yes, yes. And uh, what there is another um, there is another aspect uh, with Asfat. We just signed. I mean, we were we were following this opportunity for for about two years. But uh, another surprise, not a surprise, but you know, uh, a, a a good 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 development for within this exhibition is is the uh, signing ceremony with Asfat between Asfat and Ares uh, for a huge export program for Bangladesh, mm -hmm. OPVs mm -hmm. uh, of of two different types, 40 plus and 50 plus meters. This time steel, I mean the uh, structural material is steel. Because there is a perception, but it's it's a misperception about that Ares. Will work on composition. Yes, but we are most probably the only shipyard in Turkey uh, which is capable of building in all three structural materials, like steel, aluminum, and composites. So this is another good news. So will you design the uh, ships for the uh, Bangladesh Navy, or will they be something? the one that you are selling to some other countries that you may yes, like yes. of course it's a new design but um, the design is based on a combat proven platform uh, the Qatar Coast Guard's flagship the 48 meter RS 150 Hercules so the basis is the, the, the parent craft is, is the 150 Hercules what we do what we did is uh, we made some revisions, modifications in the design as per the Bangladesh Coast Guard's uh, requests. And we restudied the design, the calculations and the tests for a steel hull. Mm 